everybody. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about accountability and keeping your staff accountable and how do you do that. Um, keeping people accountable a lot of the times has a negative connotation uh, right off the bat and it doesn't need to be that way. Uh, if, if you are upfront with the accountability and explain why uh, why accountability needs to be there for the staff up front, then they will understand and, and it won't be looked at as a negative and it will be looked at as just another protocol. So very quickly, um, when you have your staff meetings and you go over two or three, hopefully not more than three important things during a staff meeting, uh, after you're done, how do you expect your staff to execute this? Um, and what is your timeline? Do you have a timeline? Do you have a follow-up? So the key is, is to put in a deadline. Um, or, so there, there's a couple ways to do it. One, you can put in the deadline. You could say, I want the wait time for my patients to go from a half hour to 15 minutes by uh, April 1st. Know, in a month, in a week. So that's up to you. But if you don't put in deadlines, then how, how are you going to measure this? How are you going to know if things get better um, and stay better, right? Uh, you know, uh, the, the staff could be famous for doing something after an office meeting for two weeks and, and, and be wonderful for the first two weeks. And then you see that slope down as goes right back into the old ways. So keeping people accountable um, you know, on, on more than one occasion is important. So yes, I want the wait time to go from 30 minutes to 15 minutes by April 1st. And yes, it is there by April 1st. Wonderful. What is it on May 1st? Is it still 15 minutes? Oh, it's 22 minutes. Well, we need to get it back to 15 minutes again. That consistent accountability is very important. So you could put the deadlines on it. Um, I've also read another way of doing it where I, I thought was very interesting is allowing your staff to put a deadline on it. Put a deadline on it, but allow them to make the deadline. And that puts the ball in their court for getting things done. If they give you the deadline and then they don't execute by the deadline, well, how? You know, what do they have in their back pocket to come back to you and say, well, you didn't give me enough time. They were the ones that actually, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, they were the ones that actually came up with that time, right? So that's, that's another way of doing it. So again, if you want to execute things, you need deadlines uh, or it's, it's, really not worth it, right? Uh, don't expect people to do things for the long term if you, if you don't have those deadlines. And again, that's that's on you, Docs. That's on you uh, as the CEO. Um, it's it's not, their, uh, not their issue. You do need to continue to remind and have protocols in there for that. That is your responsibility, whether you, you, know, whether you like it or not. Um, it's a part of the job. All right, so take a proactive view of this. Don't look at it like, oh, I keep having to tell them over and over again. Tell them over and over again. Make it a part of what you need to be doing or your office manager should be doing um, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, whatever the, the, the case is for what needs to be executed. That's it for today. Thank you.